Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Uh, this time around, I'm starting a new game. Now, uh, I've uh, done a uh, custom map for this one. Uh, it's a very large square map. Uh, I'm uh, going to be uh, uh, starting the game in 1950, uh, because, uh, quite frankly, I've had enough of faffing about with uh, slow steam trains just to get anywhere for a while. This, uh, this game is going to have some mods. I'm just going to go through them quickly here. Uh, uh, achievements with mods, because I just enable that just in case I accidentally get an achievement. Uh, bridges without pillars, I'm including that one for the odd case where I'm trying to make a small bridge across something uh, where it doesn't really need pillars. And uh, the game wants to put a single pillar on one side or insist on putting a pillar on top of the thing it's bridging. So I'm, I'm uh, bringing that one in. I'm bringing in the Naffy's Universal State Cars. Now, uh, you might think that's cheating. But really, uh, by, the, by the 1950s or so, uh, container shipping is, you know, starts to be a thing, right? Uh, or at least uh, it certainly can be. And, uh, and and for Pete's sake, we've got universal horse carts and uh, things like that. So universal state cars are fine. Uh, I'm on, I only have them in in case I need to uh, to run a uh, inconvenient line uh, uh, you know between uh, uh, locations. Uh, now, the other reason the Naffy's uh, state cars aren't really a cheat is their capacity is slightly less than the more bespoke wagons. So you actually lose in capacity to gain the flexibility, which, when you think about it, makes sense because you have to have containers on those state cars. Now, I'm, I'm throwing in natural town growth. Now, that um, has a potential to seriously compromise the uh, game performance. And... Uh, I may potentially yank it later on if that's the case, but it um, it brings things a little bit more like in Transport Fever One, where uh, you you can influence the uh, growth of the town uh, beyond just uh, the maximum population that you get from the percentage modifiers, which are still there. The no random rocks thing. Uh, that doesn't apply here. I just uh, never got around to removing it, and there's no percentage in doing so. Shader enhancement doesn't really do much, but uh, uh, it's useful for uh, potentially other uh, other uh, um, mods. Smoke reduction, just because there's too much smoke in the uh, you know for playability, really, uh, with uh, some of the older uh, uh, engines. Uh, now, steel bridges, the steel bridges ported from Transport Fever 1, uh, that should have Jolly Green in it, if I recall correctly. So, uh, so there's that. And then the No End Year official mod from Urban Games. Uh, that means we can grab uh, old uh, vehicles if we want to, you know, for uh, role-playing purposes or whatever. So... Uh, that's just the mods I'm starting with here. Uh, basically, I thought I'd just show that so that you have some idea what's doing. Now I'm going to now. You know, we're starting in 1950, uh, so I'm going to load up the game, start it. Now this time around, uh, I'm going to uh, try and uh, edit things just a little bit more. Uh, where I'll uh, I'll take the long boring uh, uh, bits, you know, building a, a track for you know across a uh, uh, long flat distance or something like that. Uh, I'll uh, aim maybe aim a little bit more toward uh, you know speeding those up or some jump cuts or whatever, uh, it, just to make things a little less boring. Uh, I want to uh, focus a little bit more on the planning uh, and the uh, the uh, 
you know, you know like the, the strategies, uh, the planning, and the and riding the trains and other vehicles around to test things rather than uh, you know the long sequences building a uh, 50 mile uh, you know uh, rail line across a plane or something like that now I uh, I'm starting out I'm still gonna I'm not playing with unlimited money uh, but here's a kind of uh, 50,000 foot overview uh, I've actually manually placed a uh, fair chunk of everything here uh, the industries are all manually placed uh, I if I did my job right there's enough industries at each level to fully supply the next level uh, they're not necessarily conveniently placed however for instance there's a agricultural cluster up here but then you'll find uh, things like um, the uh, ore mines in the uh, hilly regions and uh, you'll find processing plants and so on down in the flats right now we also don't have a uh, river here uh, so we don't, we don't have water that's that we can use to assist in our transport uh, so that's definitely a uh, thing right uh, so, so that will, that means we're not going to have ships and the potential performance problems that come from, uh, ship lines. Now, all of the, uh, towns are connected with gravel roads. Uh, there are some pretty, uh, uh intense, uh, connections coming through the uh, mountainous areas. Uh, so I'm, I'm not likely going to be running a lot of uh, truck services between towns okay uh, trains are likely going to be a thing now there's a chance that I'll end up chucking up a few airports for passengers as well uh, you know to get across the map now uh, this here it's not really any different than any other map um, but what we need here is uh, some way to uh, acquire some cash to uh, actually start running the game. So uh, there's a couple of ways we could proceed. I could uh, connect up some uh, towns with bus lines. Um, I could. Uh, or I could get some cargo stuff going. Now there's one option for cargo I can do over here. Uh, which is... Uh, the quarry to the Conmats plant to Stepford, which also demands Conmats. I could do that. Uh, that uh, would potentially, uh, I think I could do that with trucks. Uh, so that would potentially uh, earn a few dollars. Um, I've got, uh, um, yeah, I don't have anything else particularly impressive there. Um, now, of course, we don't have to do full chains. So, you know, there's that. Um, well, that is looking like probably the best starting point. Uh, unless I can see a... Uh, Unless I can see an oil chain somewhere, a uh, fuel chain that is. Uh, we got a fuel, oil, no crude down there. Yeah, see that's um that's the thing that's uh, going to uh, going to really uh, complicate things. So my goal here is to get all the industries connected up somehow. And uh, then, uh, you know, get them supplying stuff to uh, at least some towns, right? That's the goal. Uh, so, yeah. Well, uh, so what I'm going to do, I, I, I'm going to do the Stepford one here. Now, let's uh, take a look here. Uh, let's put the ugly on and then take a look at this. Um, actually, our... Uh, Lay of the land isn't too bad there. Okay. So what I'm going to do 
is uh, connect up. I'm going to do this with trucks. So I'm going to connect up a uh, truck station with with one platform. So we only need one there. Uh, so I can uh, stick it in here, right? And then I can uh, run a um, medium country road out, uh, bring it out from here, and I guess I can just bring it str no, straight out. And then up to here. Yeah, I think that's okay. Uh, and then uh, I need also a uh, well, one of these here. Um, now I'm running trucks, so I can use a uh, universal truck. Uh, I'll uh, stick. Can I get it to uh, connect up from over here? I can. Okay, and then uh, again, run this up to here. Yeah, I guess I should uh, upgrade this to, yeah. Okay, now where do I need a drop-off point in the town? Uh, where are we over here? Oh, that's convenient. So I can put the drop-off point. Uh, I think I can put it here. Right. Okay. So then I'll uh, I'll name those. Okay. This will be Stepford Freight Drop-off. Okay. And this will be. Stepford Quarry. And I still can't, um, you know, type. So, and this will be Stepford Construction Materials Plant. And I could try spelling that correctly. Construction. Good. Now I can just fling a couple of trucks at that and then we can see what happens. So uh, I'm going to need uh, one of these, which I will chuck way out over here so I can, you know, maybe find it. Good. Stick that there. Buy a vehicle. We want cargo. And uh, we have... Uh, the Studebaker tarpaulin does 60 and carries 14. Um, this one does 60 and carries 11. 60 and carries 12. Forty and carries eight. Okay. Okay. So the uh, that one does sixty and carries thirteen. Yeah, we'll go with the Studebaker. Uh, I think I'm gonna want ten on here. Uh, just because of the uh, distance. I'll shrink it if it's too many. Uh, new line. Uh, we go here. 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 Right? Okay. And this is going to be the Stepford uh, Conmat 
supply. Okay. Uh, now, the con mats are a uh, one to one. Uh, this produces 400. This can produce 400. So, this is a complete uh, setup. Uh, okay, so now, uh, just a uh, thing on date. Uh, I'm going to run it at quarter speed uh, for now. Am I? Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to grab this. I'm going to repay some of the loan. Yeah, so we have 30 million or 100 million loan available. But it, it's... Uh, so uh, what I want to do now... Um, maybe I want to just pause the date. No. No, it's fine. Um, let's... Um, launch a uh, truck here and uh, you know because I haven't done it let's ride a truck why is it going that way yeah either way uh, we get to see the uh, the modern modernish roads right uh, I see we've got a uh, two paved lanes and a uh, gravel shoulder by the look of it You know, overall, this doesn't look half bad. There's probably going to be a little bit of jerkiness here initially due to the uh, uh, natural growth thing. Uh, just because the... Uh, the thing will be adjusting and also because the game was originally set up for uh, uh, 1850 on the map and jumping to jumping it to 1950 means it needs to uh, update all the towns so uh, there will be uh, some lurchiness for a bit here Still, uh, you know, I oh this map, the vistas are going to be really nice. Like, take a look at the distance there, right? Eh? The mountainous terrain. This might actually be good terrain for trucks in a lot of spots. There might be a lot of trucks in this particular ver particular game. Okay, and down here into our uh, uh, factory. Look at that nice uh, slope down into the uh, uh, station here. Oh look, there's the other uh, trucks, right? And away we go. Now we're heading back, as if you didn't know. Okay, we're going to have a lot of uh, car traffic, I think, initially. Because the towns are connected and there's no transit, no transport between towns. So that's something we're going to have to look at, is uh, building uh, inter-town transport. Now, something I think I'm going to concentrate more on here is a little bit of town planning, where I uh, build a road skeleton for a town uh, just to avoid the uh, traffic snarls of having weird road layouts. Eh, maybe I won't do... I say that now, I won't do that. 
Uh, it just takes too much effort, right? Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, so what I'm thinking is uh, probably early on there won't be as many jump cuts and so on as, as you might expect. Mostly because uh, I won't be uh, sitting around uh, with complicated but boring uh, construction projects to do or uh, repetitive ones. But when it comes, to, comes later on, there's our freight drop-off. When it comes later on, uh, there will be a lot more uh, complicated layouts that, uh, yeah, you probably, you probably don't want to watch in detail. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, but, you know, for something like this initial truck line here that I've put together, uh, I'll uh, probably just, uh, you know, probably just show the initial build. And maybe any boring spots in the build, I'll uh, speed up and post. I won't know what's what really needs speeding up and post until I get there, of course. And here we go. We're picking up our first batch of... Uh, stone. Well, when we get to the platform, we will. Yep, we pick up the stone. Okay, so that's going to be fine. Now let's take a look at the rate. 233 should be fine for that for now. Uh, we're not going to make any money on it until the uh, until it beds in a bit. But anyway, that's our uh, freight line, first freight line. Now, I want to take a look for Stepford, and let's look at destinations. We got one for Bedford. We want Chester's Mill. Uh, Chester's Mill and Waterdeep. Okay. So Chester's Mill is up here. Waterdeep is down here. So we kind of want transportation up through this uh, corridor. So I think that means I'm going to put a uh, train line through there. Uh, and I think that's going to mean a uh, train station over here. Yeah, I think it'll be a train station over there. A train station over here with uh, buses in or trams into Chester's Mill and Minas Tirith. And uh, at Waterdeep, uh, probably put the... Where, where would I connect to from Waterdeep? This way. So I'll probably put it... Huh. i probably put the uh, train station over here between... Waterdeep and Mega City 2. Run a train over to Bedford Falls. Or not a train, a truck or a, a bus. Um, or I could come down through this gap and uh, put a platform, put the platform here. You know what? That might be better. Yeah, if I come through that gap. Uh, then I can actually split off and come down through Jericho and uh, Duckburg uh, or Central City. Yeah, okay. Uh, so I'll put a uh, platform over here. Now, what's the... Oh. Maybe this is a two-platform job. Uh one over here by Waterdeep and Mega City 2. Hmm. That's a little bit of a little bit of a poser, really. Now we do have a fair bit of traffic coming this way, so um yeah. So what would I do? Now, I'm going to put 320 meter platforms for passengers. So, um, 
Yeah, let's um, let's go in here, grab uh, passenger station. I'm going to put two tracks on it, 320. We'll use high speed because it's passenger and we'll allow for uh, catenary. No, okay, I'm going to need to borrow here. Borrow. Oh, this number here is from uh, creating the map, so don't let that bother you um, or confuse you. Uh, right, okay, so uh, buildings. Uh, 320 platform, high speed, catenary. Yeah. Or catenary or whatever. Now I'm going to want it lined up with that gap and down there. So, uh, this will be the mi a minus, the minus Tirith or minus Tirith station. So I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it here. Okay, and then I need one down here, and I think it'll be just perfect to line it up right here. Um, yeah, I think that would be just about right. So, yeah, now that uh, that gives us. Uh, Yep, that gives us uh, something. Uh, yeah, yeah, it gives us something, all right. Um, good, right, tracks, this. Yeah, we'll, we'll chuck the electrics on it. Now, can I... Ah, good. I can get over the roads. But, I see I'm going to have a elevation problem here okay let's put the ugly on and see how bad it actually is it is uh, ridiculously bad okay but uh, we have an iron bridge that does 180 a sprint suspension bridge steel bridge Is that Jolly Green? That's Jolly Green. Okay. Do I want to go with Jolly Green here? Uh, what's this? Um, this only does 90. That's a no-go. We don't have the... Uh, what's this one? Okay, that's that one. No, we don't want that one. You know, that one. I think we'll use that one. Okay. Now, I need to get, get uh, down into the valley here. So... Uh, no. grab it. Okay, now, can I, uh, hit the ground somewhere over here? Um. No. This is going to be a whacking great viaduct. Uh, okay, so, so I want maximum down bubble, uh, ah, that hit ground level there, okay, well, we can live with that, so if I build that, yeah, that gets me down, and then I need to wind down toward this platform here. Okay.
Okay, let's do this. And yeah, 100 is good. Okay. Now, I don't think that is the way to go. Unless, well, if I take this off, uh, right, where's the uh, handle thing? There it is. Can I come in this way? Hmm. Well, that has a uh, fun tunnel thing going. Uh, well, you know, I'm going to try that. And then which side of the track is that? That side. Okay. Then we come out here and connect up. That is acceptable, I think. Okay. Now, I'm going to double it. Of course, because of course I'm going to double it. Um, right. Now, the whole point of this circuitous uh, route here is to shed altitude and uh, do it without a helix. I can turn the ugly off so I can see what I'm doing now. Um, right. Okay. Come along here and we're good. Now, can I get a crossover on the bridge? Maybe. Yeah, I can get a crossover on the bridge. Right, because it doesn't have the fences, uh, the crossover works. Okay, that's a tunnel. And this is over here. And, uh, yeah. Well, I guess I'm going to need one, no, one of these. Oh, I can get a full crossover in there. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to want a signal over here and a signal at the other end. And I'll add more signals if I need them uh, later. Uh, and what I'm going to do is fling a uh, one of these. Yep. And then I can fling one of these. Uh, yeah, okay, so I'm going to naturally fling a train at this. So, we're going to buy a vehicle, and we're going to go electric and see what we have. This here does 125. Um, 1850 kilowatts, 3000 kilowatts with the E94 does 90. This does 160. That does 100. That's expensive. Uh, running cost 2 million. Running cost 1.1. Uh, running cost 1.8. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna try it. Add that passenger. Wait, do we have any electric multis? That does 125, 450k a year. Um, no. Uh, passenger. Uh, what do we have here? Down here at the bottom. Uh, we have this thing, which it does 100. That does 120. Uh, that 
That does 120 and carries 20. Uh, um, that does 100. Yeah, everything above there is slower. Uh, okay. Well, 120 is about as fast as we can reasonably do. So that's 24 tons and carries 20. That's 45 tons and carries 21. Yeah. What's this one? Okay. One. Oh, come on. Double clicking things. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We'll carry 100 passengers. We'll borrow enough to uh, pay for it. And if it ends up costing too much, uh, then we won't actually um, use it, right? Uh, okay, so uh, that's going to need uh, a line. Yep. So that's going to need a new line, which goes from here to here. And that's not going to carry anything until... Uh, right. Intercity uh, rail uh, minus Tirith to Stepford. Okay. Now, I need to also uh, bring some uh, passengers to it. Now, I'm going to do that next time. Uh, so I've got we've got something underway here. Um, so next time I'll, uh, uh, I'll work on, uh, bringing, uh, the passengers to the train and then, uh, we should be able to get some stuff actually operating. Whoops. Now, just before I go, let's check in over here. Uh, this line is making 700k. So... That's good. Uh, right. So, uh, yeah, next time I'll uh, complete the connections to Chester's Mill, uh, Minas Tirith, and Stepford with uh, road transport, and then we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, okay, so that's all for this time. So uh, stay healthy. Uh, don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. And uh, yeah, see you back next time.